Good evening and welcome to Mascot Madness Bracketology. I'm your host, Matt Reno. And uh, Kyle Knoll, was, I was trying to fire him uh, because he picked the trees over the gators. But looking further into his contract, I was not able to fire him. And uh, But I could demote him to assistant of analytics now. So Kyle, welcome, I guess. <laughs> Assistant of Analytics now. Um, you you picked the, the trees to beat the Gators. Yes. And it did not happen. First, can I clarify? What does the demotion mean? What do, Are my duties changed? Do I report I'm, to someone else now? I'm going to pay you half as much as I was okay. paying you. I'd also be curious what the actual stipulations of my contract are. Um, that's to be determined as we uh, continue on in this. Like, if you bug me. Can then... I write something down? Put something on paper? You can, doesn't mean I'm going to sign it. Okay. Um, so I get to determine week by week what his contract actually <clears throat> states um, as I talk with your lawyer. All right. Too. So, yes, to the trees. I, I was sad to see that they didn't come through. I, I knew it was a long shot, but uh, it didn't happen. I, I, still, I still believe in the power of trees, and so should you. Um, even though the white tree of Gondor has not yet come back to life. That's a dead tree. It's not entirely dead. But uh, that was not that's not the only tree that has power. And I know you're making fun of me for my references to trees. Very much. Uh, but perhaps you should consider someone like Groot from your wheelhouse. <laughs> Maybe I should have. You should have. Obviously... At, at least to give credence to the fact <laughs> that it, it, it is a long shot, but it could have, ha it could have happened. <sighs> No, I was, no. If you saw the tree, the mascot, this is the mascot madness, bracketology. If you saw the mascot of this tree, yeah, I, you would not go for it. We can't just pick any tree. Here. I just like the word tree. We want. We can't just, you know, with any of these, you can't just pick whichever you want of the best of the You time. said I can fill the mascot. You said bakes your picks on your own decision. I, I know, your own decision of the mascot. It's the mascot, <laughs> the mascot is a tree. It doesn't represent just one tree. It represents all trees. I'm going to rewrite his contract and make it so that he cannot show up again. Or at least that he's not allowed to mention trees. Every time you mention trees, you're going to be docked 17 cents. Seven, oh, really? Yeah. I'm serious. Okay. So watch out. So we should move on then. We probably should. Let's recap what happened this last week. Uh, last week, there were a few, quite a few blowouts. The Cowboys over Greyhounds, 49-14. We had the Vikings over the Roadrunners. We have the Hawks over the Flyers. I don't think that one was a surprise, yeah. being in Hawkeye country. And there, there was a little, uh, little play on the actual images used, I think, could sway people. Because my uh, staff assistant, uh, who put together these logos chose the Hawkeye logo, the full hawk, and not just the eye. Oh. When there's lots of other hawks Is there a logo that has have. just the eye? Yes. Just the eye. Just, yeah, well, the head. Okay, the so eye. not so just the eye. You, you know what I mean. No, it's focus on <laughs> Words mean things. Now he's the assistant to the assistant of analytics. Yeah. <laughs> Words mean things. But still, the influence there, if they would have chosen my staff assistant, uh, who will remain nameless so that they don't get any hate mail, um, if they choose um, the like the Kansas Jayhawks image, would they have gotten as many votes? What do you think? Probably not. Um, I still think it would have come out on top. Probably not as many votes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so maybe there's a case to be made for what the logo should have been for the arboreal plants. <laughs> I don't want to lose 17 cents. <laughs> we're, 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 words mean things. You've yeah. not even using words. Uh, that is You're a just word. making things up. <laughs> it's not a word. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, because also the uh, Bucks versus Hoosiers, um, there was some debate on what is a Hoosier. Um, there was a right. raster in our state who was making uh, horrible comments, mean comments, mm -hmm. towards what a Hoosier is. Wow. And... I'm very upset by that. But they put a picture of myself on there. I didn't have any control over that. Oh. A picture of myself next to some old picture of a Hoosier because really there's no picture of an actual mascot for the Hoosiers. So do you think your it's presence weird. in the vote, your picture in the vote, 
gave the Hoosiers more or fewer votes? Definitely more, because I am a pretty intimidating person. Hoosier, yeah. Um, just by nature. Yeah, I mean, he threatened 17 cents pay cuts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm serious. I When things get serious, um, people in youth group, you know, when I get mad, oh man, it's it's watch out, right? It's, sure. No, <laughs> you said people in youth group, right? Yeah. Right. That's, yeah. that's, you wouldn't know. Junie would know. Oh, he would know. <laughs> Anyways, so, but that was a close one. Bucks over Hoosiers, 32 to 29. I was yeah. somewhat surprised by that. Um, Pirates over Mustangs was an also another close one, 35 to 31. Uh, I don't know why Mustangs would beat a Pirate. Well, again, if the Pirates come off of their ship or come off of their, if they come onto land mm -hmm. with all the land lovers, and they're they don't have the advantage of their what they're used to on ship. Maybe yeah, they could easily get trampled by Mustangs. I could see yeah. that. So maybe uh, maybe they lost some of that confidence coming out of their natural environment. You know? Yeah, that's very very mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. yeah, big upset. <clears throat> uh, everybody's been talking about this one. It's just been blowing up the timelines on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Is that what shut down Facebook? YouTube? Last week? Yes, okay. this is what. It was obviously, say it with me at home, because you know what it is, kangaroos over Seminoles. Yes. That was, I was just blown away that a kangaroo took down a Seminole. What happened in that matchup? Uh, well, if you remember, I did predict that one. I did pick the kangaroos. Oh, yeah, but it's time. still an upset. It's still <clears throat> the biggest upset we had, 12-5. Yeah. The kangaroos got, got busy early with their kangaroo punching, kangaroo boxing, mm -hmm. and kicking. And... Uh, they must have brought out some of their big heavy hitters, the, the big, mm -hmm. big tall ones, seven footers that uh, have big claws. And I don't know if you know this, but you know, when they jump, when kangaroos jump, they don't use muscles. It's all based on the, the tension in their tendons. So they do not use up any muscle energy, so they don't run out of energy jumping around. Would you read that in a book? <clears throat> or yeah. did you see that on Disney Plus? <laughs> Yeah, so they outlasted outlasted their opponents. They that is amazing. Mm -hmm. That's good knowledge to have. I was not aware of that. Mm -hmm. You're kind of tucking that one away. I kind of kept that away. Yeah, so I these guys could. Them, I might have mm -hmm. picked them if I knew about this. They've got they the get worn out. And they got the cuteness factor. They yeah. lure them in mm -hmm. with the cuteness, saying, yeah. "Hey, come here, pet me, just like you did to that kangaroo." Yes. And then it's like, no, I will destroy you now. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a good opponent. I'm mm -hmm. interested to see if they beat the Vikings with that same strategy. Yeah, I'm less confident about that one, but mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. Well, yeah. that was that was pretty exciting. Uh, Blue Devils beat the Friars. <clears throat> Many of you chose to side with the Devil mm -hmm. as opposed to a Friar. The so, Devil, the Devil, or well, Blue Devils, the okay. the Blue Devils. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering, I'm asking, going to ask you, should I publicly shame them? <sighs> so it depends. Um, if you can separate, so here's my caveat. If you okay. can separate people who voted for this from people who are generally fans of sports teams who have devils as their mascot, especially mm -hmm. those who are fans of sports teams that have devils as their mascots without even knowing that that's their mascot, um, if we can separate that category, and I'm asking this because I fall into that category. If we can separate that category from people who've intentionally voted. So you follow the devil. I have been a fan of teams that I've been later life. found out their mascot. One of them is the Blue Devils and another one is the Red Devils. I did not know this. But even, even the Duke, 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 it's the Duke Blue right, Devils. Right, right. Even then, you have to still root against Duke. It's like uh, rooting for the Patriots, the, the powerhouse, the, the team that has been, like, on top for so many years. Like, you just, unless you're from there, like, you have to go against them. The so you're Yankees, saying, regardless like of the, the name, the voters should have voted against the Blue Devils it's, because it's associated with Duke? Either way. Okay, let's go against argument. it. Let's go back yeah, to the Yeah, both first. arguments, again, <laughs> I win. Yeah. Because you're going Blue Devils, you shouldn't vote for a devil, people. Um, and then if you're going, well, Duke is my favorite team. That's why I picked them. Again, don't vote for Duke. I like Duke. You're fine if you do. But <clears throat> um, but I did not know that you like Duke. Yeah. That is. 
I, I, I started watching. I this. started watching them without even knowing they were good. And maybe one. How do you not college. know if they're good? I just started they're watching team. college basketball. So you're saying I should have just known they're one of the best teams ever? Yes. Okay, because they are one of the best teams ever. Yes. Okay, great. So I started watching them and saw they were good because they, it happened to be good because they're one of the best teams ever. So I, I liked watching them. Uh, similar to Manchester United, who is the, the Red Devils. We're not um, talking about soccer. I'm making the, okay. yeah, the the Red Devils. So if you can separate that, <laughs> that someone is a fan of somebody, that, and you, you can just target and shame these people who picked specifically the Blue Devils over the Friars, then I say shame away. Okay, so yeah. Kyle is saying shame. Shame on you. Okay, not me. I wasn't going to do it. Since he said to, then we will. Right, yeah, I'm sure. Direct all your hate mail to www.kylenoll. Yeah, go or drop that. Mascot Madness at g Spotify dot com slash MySpace. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna now walk through. Uh, each of the picks. We're going to do all of the picks of the second round. It's going to happen this week. And so next week we're going to have a lot to talk about. But let's walk th through, okay, our picks. We know what we had. But now that we understand what the voters are doing, now we understand their side of how they're picking, uh, let's walk through each battle. Top left is where we're going to start. Follow along with me. If you don't have the updated brackets, you can go to my Facebook page. I posted there on Friday, and so you can check it out there to follow along with us. We'll give you a second to do that. And they're gonna do it now? Instead yeah, of I, watch this? I just told them to, so yeah. Are they gonna they're pause gonna, this? No, they're not gonna pause it, it's because this is the, the live stream premiere thing. So they're gonna, I'm just giving them time to go to the Facebook and while to, we're talking, while like we're talking, no, yeah, we're not talking gonna, right like, now. Like open another browser. Yeah, there's gonna be something? like some overlay uh, music right now that they're not even gonna hear what we're saying. Okay, they'd probably rather listen to this because this is probably our best conversation. <laughs> this is the best conversation. <laughs> we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Okay, you downloaded. Welcome back. You've downloaded that <clears throat> the bracket, and now we're ready to talk. All right, Trojans, Wolverines, who do you have? I'd stick with the Wolverines. I picked them at the beginning, and just they got a really strong showing in the votes last week. You know? I have Trojans. Um, we'll see what happens from there. Knights, Bison. I'm going to stay with the Bison. Um, I, like I said, <clears throat> they had a lot of momentum coming out of that, that victory over the Blaze. They did. I had the Blaze, and so but I said that if the Bison won, I could see them taking out the Knights. So, yeah. Uh, I have Knights going the next round, but I wouldn't be surprised if they get overtaken. But I gotta stick with my pick. Go Knights. Mm -hmm. Colonials, Bears. 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 Dog Bears. Mm -hmm. Falcons, Panthers. Yeah. I think I had Panthers on this one. I don't remember my original pick. I probably should have that in front of me. Uh, I would go with the Panthers still. Um, yeah, the large predatory. Cats yeah. over birds. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I'm excited about this one. Lions Lumberjacks. I called this one. Not many people out there were really uh, hardcore for those Lumberjacks. But I have the Lumberjacks beating the Lions. This is my big upset. This is my Cinderella. So I'm hoping they win. What do you think? Lions. Definitely. Um, the Lumberjacks survived the Rattlers. That's okay. I uh, don't see them surviving the power of a lion yeah okay i can mm -hmm. i understand i wouldn't be too mad at it but that's this is my gamble this is my cinderella so mm -hmm. if they don't win I, I understand i'm not gonna be mad at any voters no shaming coming their way but i really have a good feeling about the lumberjacks they've been hot all season especially at the, especially at the end where it's they really flannel. <laughs> that's true flannel and the, the wildfires out there too. yeah <laughs> they're still chopping down trees even in the midst of a wildfire <laughs> Yes. Still doing the job. So they got really hot at the end of the season, so hopefully they'll keep carrying that through. <laughs> All right, Titans, Buccaneers. This was a tough one because the Titans, mm -hmm. their mascot, uh, there's a variety of mascots out mm -hmm. there for Titans. Yeah. There's mascots that look like Trojans. So I didn't want to go that route because, mm -hmm. uh, or my staff assistant, I should say, didn't want to go that route because um, we already had that. Sure. The other one was an elephant. There was a college that the mascot 
was an elephant, but the name was mm. the Titans. The Titans. Mm. Which I was like, I don't want to mislead people when you just have the words here. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to have an elephant when they right. were like, wait a minute. If it was an elephant, I definitely would have right. chosen differently. Mm. So I found one that has uh, the guy with the lightning bolts. More of what we were talking about. Sure, the mythological um, right. warriors. So Yeah, because of their strong showing against the Cavaliers, I would probably pick them over the Buccaneers. Again, Buccaneers yeah. still weak, even with <clears throat> Brady. So. Yeah. It's, this is not football. Stop talking you, about you it. You know it's true. You probably like the Patriots, too. No. Although, to my shame, I did root for them once. <gasps> shame! Back that first shame. one when I wanted the Rams to go down. I rooted for the Patriots because they were the underdog then. And then oh, from then no. on, I rooted for No, it. never. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to demote you again. <clears throat> See, I, the last week, I was really excited about learning new things about you. But now I'm not. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't You're know if I... You're disappointed in me now. I don't want to yeah. learn these things because I, I want to be friends after this. <laughs> so All right, we'll see what I can... Well, I can make up. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Cowboys, Dragons. Um, Dragons, obviously, they, they blew it up. They did a great job. Uh, we actually have a correspondent who was there at the Dragons-Cardinals game. Uh, we're going to shoot it over to Titus. Um, he was a, a big Dragons fan, so let's see what he thought. Titus, are you there? Titus. Are you there? No. No, Titus. Okay. No Titus. Uh, we'll see if we can work out some technical difficulties and get him uh, on the screen so that we can hear from him, get his analysis uh, later on. Who you have? Dragons? Still Cowboys? Dragons. Yeah. Still Dragons, obviously. Now Rams, Blue Devils. With the Friars out, I had them going against the Gargoyles. I got both of those wrong. Blue Devils over Rams. Could the Blue Devils now go all the way? Uh, it's the devil. The Friar really was the yeah, only yeah. one who could defeat them. I don't know. I, this one's a toss-up, though, based on the way they've been voting. Um, it's the nature of people. Just, yeah, yeah, really. Devious. Brought it out. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, what's his name? Not Wormtone. That's the Lord of the Rings. Screwtape. I wonder if Screwtape had anything to do with this. Who was talking to anybody about? Let me guess. Devil. A book. <clears throat> Yes, I would probably pick the Rams still, uh, Rams. but I'm 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 uneasy about that. I can see that going either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see if the uh, people repent. They might have felt really bad about that, like oh, I picked mm -hmm. the devil, and they might be <laughs> just the devil. <laughs> Um, they might just be really remorseful and uh, uh, repentance. Yeah. That's yeah. going to lead to godliness. Yeah. So it might be real growth and change this week. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We'll see. Let's, we'll pray for that. Gators and Pirates, who do you have? Uh, with the Gator, I would probably go with the Gators, you yeah. know, like a uh, Captain Hook type of Gator. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. He is really no match for that Gator. Right. Every turn. I mean, TikTok Croc, what's his name? TikTok Croc? I'm not sure, but I do remember Jake Captain Hook Croc. running on water, like showing some pretty impressive powers to get away from that Croc. But yet, it still wasn't enough. No, no. That one sounds like that's from Jake and the Neverland Pirates too. Kevin Hook running on water. I think it's the original, the original. cartoon. Okay. I believe. Okay. Uh, we'll have somebody fact check me on that one. We'll put it in post, and uh, we'll we'll see what it is. And when, what is the name of the crocodile? Ooh, yeah. In the comment below, do you know the name of the crocodile from the original? If I'm right, TikTok croc maybe, or if I'm wrong, we'll find out. So let's just pretend. That as we edit and post and find out, find the picture of the original. You're going to put it up there. I'm going to put it up there because I'm right. I don't think we need to do a take where you say you're right. Or just, I don't know, because you didn't really have a stamp. Okay, so you just we don't need up. to do a second take at all. All right. I'm right. All right, kangaroos, vikings. Kangaroos already had a big upset. Yeah, but I'm still going to go with the vikings on this. Okay. I'm going to stand by them as the dominant human element in this whole bracket. Okay, sure. Um, going on, sharks and wildcats. Sharks. Sharks. Mm -hmm. You think they're gonna fight in the water? Um, yeah, but even if they're out of the water, they can still for last quite a while mm -hmm. and, and be pretty deadly, even even on a boat deck, even on stranded on a beach somewhere. 
Yeah. yeah. And even with all of the, the publicity and the conservation efforts to remind people, most people don't, you know, get attacked by sharks and more sharks die from humans mm -hmm. than vice versa. Yeah. They're still deadly and scary. Yeah, that's true. I don't see them going around playing in shark infested waters much. If you're a member of PETA, you can send your emails to kyle.instaface.zanga slash com. So you can send your .edu. questions there, dot edu. All right, I think uh, I heard that we have Titus again. Uh, okay, now that we can hear you, Titus. Titus, what, what was your assessment of the first half? The dragon started out slow. Uh, but really came back in the second half. So what were your thoughts on that? Okay, he's he doesn't know. He's not sure about that one. Okay. Um, Dragons. But, yeah, but they won. Smaug. They're going to go for it. Smaug. Smaug. All right. <clears throat> we have polar bears, hawks. That was a close one, too. Polar bears and wolves. Yeah. That was a tight match. The pack mentality of the wolves. I can mm. see that. But I still <clears throat> I see the polar bears being dominant in this next round too, um, mm -hmm. against the Hawks. Do you think the Hawks, the if I change the logo, if, change the logo, if my staff assistant changes the logo, that if we could make it something where it's on the merits of the polar bear and right. the hawk, right, face to face, I would say polar bear should come out on top. Hmm. We'll see, yeah, I, I might have to do that, just to conduct a social experiment. See if they get as many votes. Yeah, that would be an interesting mm -hmm. thing. Although the conditions aren't always the same, you don't have a, you're changing more than one condition. So I, Change the condition of your face in a second. <laughs> All right, next. Next we have eagles and slugs. That was last round. Yes. This round, eagles versus huskies. Eagles versus huskies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> eagles, huskies, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with the eagles. Going with the eagles. The aerial abilities. Mm -hmm. um, they can. They have a lot more room to work with. Coming yeah. with all three dimensions. Um, yeah, there's some yeah, the huskies are two D, <laughs> but the eagles get to fight in three D. Yeah, that might not be the best way to explain that. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> but I have the eagles as well. <laughs> you were arguing about that a couple weeks ago in our opening videos about the colonials. Like some like two D image or something. Oh, the logo, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was no. terrible. Yeah. So that doesn't surprise me. When the ones that he wants to win get to fight in three D, <laughs> but the other one <laughs> don't. One D. It's just like a wash. What's the word I'm looking for? Not dimensions. I have planes. No planes. Yes. Yes. Ooh, on three parts. Okay. Yes. yes. We can move on. All right, musketeers, gorillas. We both have gorillas. Yeah. So don't go in. Yeah, I think gorillas can really. Pounds of musketeers. Yeah, that's true. Then we're on to yellow jackets, tigers. I'm wearing my, as you noticed, yellow jackets. I didn't jackets. notice. You are so observant. Are you picking yellow jackets over tigers? Um, maybe. Maybe. All right. I might be. I I was upset with myself that I didn't pick them to begin with. So I think I'm gonna back the jackets. Almost all the way. That's, That's so your heart talking. Dragons. Yes, that is my heart talking. Um, I, I might have in my original bracket said the Tigers, but I was convicted. <laughs> like you, many of you should be. I was convicted not following my heart. So now I'm going to go Yellow Jackets. Tigers. Who do you have? Best animal in the world. Tiger. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Animal bias. They're both animals. What? That's true. <laughs> but tiger bias. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. This has been your tiger moment for the night. Goodness. And then we have the Longhorns versus the Spartans. I think the Spartans, Longhorns can be tamed, have been tamed in the South. Domesticated, yeah. Same thing. The Spartans have better weapons. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. I'm with you on that one. Okay. Sounds good. I got to give a special shout out to Nancy Martin. 
Nancy Martin, one of our super fans, has been commenting, has been sharing uh, her thoughts and feelings yeah. on these brackets, really involved, really invested in this, and we'd love to see that. We didn't know her. we meant so much to you. <laughs> or <laughs> we, mascots do. <laughs> we didn't. No, that's that wasn't one of the things, like, when we come and meet in church Sunday mornings, the one thing that I don't think of when I see Nancy Martin is, like, right. mascots. mascots. Like, mass, that's her greatest love. It's not that. But this has given us opportunities to really connect about right. some of these just unique things about life. The, the matchups of, of musketeers and gorillas and the dominance of the best animal in the world, tigers. Yes. You're, like, going to have, like, this moral of the story at the end of all of these? No. Like, the last one, you had, like, this nice moral of... You asked me what I thought. That time, not this time. I just interjected. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> ask you what you <laughs> Not today. <laughs> not today. I, when I wanted to I fire was you. coming, so I <laughs> jumped in. <laughs> as soon as I talk, you just automatically think that I'm asking what you think. It's weird. Well, it's a weird thing you. how this happens. Like, you, you're both here talking. Yeah. <laughs> Why would yeah. I think that? This is our life. Um, every time I open my mouth, he thinks it's a question of me asking him his thoughts on the matter. <laughs> <laughs> now he's not saying anything as we're at the end of our show anyways so thank you comment below make sure you keep involved facebook instagram keep voting we're doing the whole second round this week uh, and we're also maybe talking about doing some extra episodes if you have an episode involving mascots or a battle that you want to see us discuss a matchup that maybe wasn't in here because the committee didn't match him up uh, that you want to see, you want to hear us talk about, um, let us know. Uh, we would love to debate that and, and talk through uh, some fun matchups that you're thinking about. But uh, if you have some fun episode ideas or t-shirt ideas, uh, you can send in your t-shirts to like a real place. Like send them to us, please, because we love free t-shirts. We never you have an down. idea. Don't tell us. Tell someone else. Is that what that was? What? If you have a t-shirt idea, don't tell us. Tell us someone else. No, just send it to us. Okay. Yeah, if you have an idea for a t-shirt that'd be great for Mascot Madness or these brackets, just give us the t-shirt. <laughs> I don't really care what, what the idea is. We just want free stuff, right? Okay. That's what it was. Am I, well, yeah. I'm just going to let you know exactly what I'm thinking. I'm a truth teller. I just say how it is. I'm not going to pretend like I don't want free stuff. Free stuff. I don't know if we have anyone still watching at this point. I don't know if we have anyone still listening to you because <laughs> no one can hear that. That's all. right. I'll talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tune in next week. We'll see you. See you later.